there's transformations and procedures and rules and systems that make everything. We're interested in, in the kinds of modularities that don't stagnate or don't repeat in a kind of conventional sense, but that produce uh, a kind of endlessness or uh, an, an infinite variation. We've really focused on uh, crystallography, on solid state matter, and on repetitions in that way. So I wouldn't really necessarily, I wouldn't say that it's just mechanical, I just think it's kind of one side of the natural world. We want to create this conversation between things that are very universal, things that are, uh, let's say, um, kind of big, you know, things like, uh, subjects like matter and geometry and things that are kind of cosmological in a way. Just these, you know, uh, these very ambitious kind of subject matters, but really connect them to things that are very mundane, like a table or a chair. Constraints are really, you know, uh, freedoms. Uh, kind of in disguise, and they they, they give you uh, they give you a way and a reason to do something um, uh, to do something you otherwise wouldn't have imagined. We've been looking at like how to use a a zipper to build up shapes. So uh, you know it starts out as a kind of uh, as a um, as a self structural envelope. And then when you unzip it, um, you can see that it's actually just made from a flat sheet of uh, plastic. Our argument is that people, uh, there's this certain joy that's derived from using uh, zippers that it makes people kind of happy. Uh, so people might, um, you know, build this stuff in. Build it with uh, and achieve a sense of satisfaction. So. People have been talking about the next age that we're going into is the um, is the nano age, yeah. and that's really where um, you know we've unleashed all of this potential um, uh, from the molecular level. And one way in which we're doing that now is through the study of. Uh, of solid state material and understanding how crystals work. We don't really know when to stop. Uh, like we, we have an obsession with, uh, with trying to do something uh, different from what we had before. So it produces a, a, a slight madness in the sense that we, we only know that we're, we only know when we're done when we're completely lost.